just going to have a quick look through the markets today before the US opens. So small cats have been doing really well, haven't they? Um, you can see in the UK. I mean, even the FTSE 100 and the 250 stepped up today, hasn't it? But small caps have had a really good uh, little run, showing some relative strength as you know risk starts to uh, flow into the more interested end of the market. So small caps today, 52 week highs. Go figure. Last time small caps traded 52 week closing highs was I mean we're still closing above there but you know that the 9th 21 the beginning of the 9th 21 so that's that's I can't do the maths in my head especially after I had a few uh, shandies last night but uh, yeah you know that's what you want to see isn't it um I'll just I'll just go back to basics again because you know many people seem to think fifty two weeks high highs is a place you should be selling stocks, but no, you know fifty two week highs is is where stocks you know start to trend and markets start to trend. Yeah, there will be whipsaws. It's not it's not you know magic, but what I can guarantee is that all the biggest stocks will trade these levels many many times on the journey. And um, getting on board from earlier stage bases, you know, stocks look forward and uh, trend as the risk unwinds. So, yeah, keep it really simple. Um, don't fight it. It's a really good week for us. So let's just uh, move into it. I'm just going to have a look and see what's on volume today. When the Dan Zanga volume screen is ready for me. There we go. So I will just it is thirteen thirty five. We should have traded sixty five percent definitely to be on average volume. There's quite a lot on volume today. Should I do it by volume or should I do it by no, no, go oh, fifteen thousand percent of average daily volume. <laughs> so, don't know what's going on there today. News based. Yeah, um, th this is a return to growth, and uh, with turnover ticking up on on nano, kind of call it. It's easier to say. So. You got this kind of base here, and we got the first pullback here, and then it gapped up. I think it gapped up out of the swing screens as well. Oh no, it didn't. It actually hit the swing screens on this day here, and then gapped up a couple of days later on news. And it's just at the top end of that range now. And uh, will it base out? Will it break out? That's fifty-two week highs again. Interesting. Uh, obviously higher in the risk fountain, but <laughs> lower in. You know, lower in the risk fountain. It's it's a high risk stock. So I'm just going to buzz through these. This is a tick back up on its numbers on on the this one. It's been basing out as well. Just going to have a quick look through. You know, I can tell you every stock with within five minutes of the open. I can tell you every stock. Oh, I'll say 10 because some, some stocks get stuck in auction with, on very good news. But by just running this simple screen, I can tell you, you know, r rather than trying to unpick what's a good result, what's a bad result, how, how the market's going to, you know, we can just run this screen and it will tell you how the market's reacting to every news report. And also every stock what's just basically on volume they will all be in this very simple screen I've run it every day for the last 
how many years who knows um i used to i used to run this screen when i, when I had the old protect trader from uh, td waterhouse so let's just buzz through these i've used share scope for over a decade as well so well 13 14 years i think now Yeah, Griffin. Obviously, it was one of our, our you know, we, we had four kind of uh, in, interesting gold stocks, didn't we? And uh, Griffin being one of them. Three interesting gold stocks. Another interesting resource stocks, stock. AXL, just popping a little bit today. I talked about that one yesterday. We had it in, this, in the swing screens. Uh, well, we had it in the volume. I think it was the last time uh, I ran the... Uh, live screen on youtube i think it might have been on the fifth uh, i talked about that one in there it was turning up from this pullback so talking my own book on that one i will say just a, a little bit of exposure to oil in that one because uh i, I threw threw a stock out to buy that one actually because i just thought um be nice to have one it's up there on the gtrs as well a time still there you know it's it's still working uh i had to close this one when i closed my dad's account and i didn't buy it back just for the reason being uh it's a bit of a sloth like stock you know when i say sloth you know for my methodology and i know i cheated this one i, I got involved down here but you know, it, it was a good move on this stock. It made made some coins for me, but I just moved. I had to buy some back in in my own account. I had to buy W seven L back because I had to sell it on one account and buy it back in another. So I had to raise some funds to do it. Cut the sloths, feed the winners. XPS is another. You know, I call them sloths, don't I? But uh, and it's another one. Breakout, reverse fall breakout, first pullback, and anywhere around here was a good entry on this one. And again, a bit like time, it's always going to be a bit sloth like. There's another one, GMS, you know, oil services. So, doing well. Keep it simple, stupid as they say. MTL, you know, personally my favourite oil stock, but you know it's out of the station. This one, it's not, you know. We'll, I'll just see. I've got a huge cushion on it. I'll just see where it goes. And that's what's in the volume leaders today. So I just thought I took, just walk through those and have a, have a quick sneak peek, what's on volume today, and give us a, a quick um, sneak peek of what might, might be in the end of day screens. So. As always, as you chase, you die in this game. You never chase these things just because they're doing well. Uh, the the idea is to, you know, buy the low risk breakout or the pullback to mean trend area on the stocks. What fit the criteria you like to, you know, have in a stock. I like I'm a growth. I like to buy the best growth stocks, um, ones where I've got a little bit of gas in the tank and and can move. A little bit uh be a little bit nippy so when i come at these screens i always come at them from that point of view but that simple screen will, will uh, work for everything okay i will leave it there